It's been four years since President Kofuado promised to ensure Accra becomes the cleanest city in Africa. Well, since then, a lot of investment have been made into sanitation as a sector in pursuing that agenda. But stakeholders say not much has been achieved. In our series on sanitation, Komla Dum reports assembly officials say amendment of sanitation bylaws to make them more punitive could be the starting point. The commitment I want to make is a commitment I want all of us to make. That within these four years, by the end of the four years of my term in office as president, Accra will be the cleanest city in Africa. That is where we want to get to. I remember very well in 2017 when President Tekufado made this promise. And like the many political rhetoric, this was going nowhere. Then Sanitation Minister Cecilia Dapa would later in 2019 announce what appeared to be a revised timeline. Inshallah, the president will go for two terms and at the end, Accra would have been and we are on course. God is in control. But in between these two timelines, the Sanitation Ministry, among others, launched and began rolling out a program to distribute 20,000 dustbins to various MMDAs. And human activities continued to worsen an already bad situation. At the Jamestown New Landing Beach site, it's an eyesore. Another issue the fisher folk complain about is the matter of pollution. Now when you get to the seashore, all you see tons of plastic waste. The dumping of refuse in the sea is also a huge problem. It doesn't only affect our catch, but it also leaves us with infection. And that's just one of a fisherman here admitting to contributing to the pollution. Acting chief fisherman of Jamestown, Ni Amawulu, is another. We used to get good cash, but all that has changed. All we get is filled. It is not difficult to find people who float their refuse into drains during heavy rains. In 2019, a video of two women dragging a sackload of rubbish and dumping in a drain surfaced. Then works in housing minister Samuel Atacha in 2019 came down heavy on such acts. There's no civilized environment that people gather rubbish in their homes and they put it in the drain of significance. You see, what you're doing is that you're choking the trains. And when we have the heavy downpours, then the, the spin-offs are there. In September 2019, an AMA sanitation task force and some journalists were assaulted at Manchagbuna during an inspection exercise. An unhappy mayor of Accra, Mohammed Nije Soa, made an announcement. We are stepping up the enforcement by making sure that the enforcement, i.e. the Samosaman, will be deployed on the streets of Accra, in the communities, your hamlets, for us to be able to ensure that all of you who live in the city comply with our violence. But in the communities, not much has changed, and sadly, not much would. The Accra Metropolitan Assembly bylaw states, among others, that a person commits an offence if that person fails to provide standard container for refuse storage, discharges effluent into the open, operates a public or commercial toilet without a valid permit, defecates in the open, drains or on one's compound, or indiscriminately dumps solid and liquid waste in open spaces, drains, gutters, behind walls, or burns solid waste. The bylaw prescribes conviction to a fine of not more than 100 penalty units, or a term of imprisonment of not less than 30 days, and not more than six months, or to both. And in case of a continuing offence, a person is liable to a fine of not more than one penalty unit for each day that offence is committed. But officials say their hands are tied. Public Health Director of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Florence Cucci, says it is time to review the bylaws to make them bite. Fines are tied to some of our laws are not as pinching as they should be. 
So now we are coming out, we are revising the regulations, we are revising the bylaws, and we are ensuring that fines at the court should be checked at a place that when somebody goes and the person is not able to pay, and the person suffers to pay, maybe it will help people to change. The COVID-19 pandemic has complicated an already bad situation. Most of our waste are now infectious waste. And this is the time we have to see to it that these waste are disposed of properly and may at the end, the waste will not have an effect on anybody. Not only the waste, we are still also undergoing with the enforcement. Now we are joining forces with some NGOs going house to house, facility to facility, public places to public places, educating people on how to live in a good uh, environment. Political interference is another issue rendering the sanitation exercise counterproductive. But officials say all hope is not lost. In the end, we are our own problem. Stricter enforcement of the laws is fine. But how about we pledge to do right and report anyone whose actions lead us back to this point? Komla Adum, TV3 News, Accra. Oh